Husky bugs will make homes in your through holes and even use them to get into your boat while you're on the hard. They can be destructive and a nuisance to get rid of. So why not stop them from getting in there to begin with? I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, learn a handy tip I got from another cruiser about how to keep critters from making homes where they shouldn't. This episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Morse Alpha Expeditions. Ben and Teresa offer coastal and offshore sail training expeditions designed for sailors at all levels, plus some women-only trips. Learn technical sailing and navigation skills, as well as communication and leadership. Now booking for 2020. Check out morsealpha.com. That's M-O-R-S-E. A-L-P-H-A dot com to sign up today. More Salfa. Sell farther, safer, and with more confidence. So, your boat is out of the water. Whether it's in storage or you're living aboard in the workyard, bug intrusion can be a major problem. Sure, some of your through hulls can be closed, but probably not all of them. Vents for the fuel and water tanks probably can't be closed, period. And you may not want to close up sink drains if you're living aboard or have a dehumidifier running. You may want to leave the through hulls for the bilge pumps open, too, so that if rain gets in there, the bilge pumps can get it out. The the open-to-the-inside through hulls can let ants, roaches, bees, and more into the boat. Not good. But even the through hulls that don't directly open to the boat interior can pose a problem. Where we were hauled out on the northern edge of the Everglades, paper wasps and mud daubers were a huge problem and would totally close off tank vents. We saw more than one boat discover that they had to dig hardened chunks of mud or nests out. One boat discovered that their bilge pump wouldn't work when they relaunched, and when they took it apart to rebuild it, they found a mud dauber nest. Our first year there in storage, we were advised to stuff screen in all the open through hulls and vents. It worked well. Air or water could still flow, but bugs were blocked. But it took Dave forever to do it, and he really scraped up his hands between cutting the screen and stuffing it in. The second year, Terry and Jen Pearson were getting their boat ready for storage at the same time we were. I was heading into town one day and asked if they needed anything. Sure, they said. Stainless pot scrubbers to plug the through hulls. Huh? Terry explained that he just cut them into a couple of chunks, depending on how large the scrubber is and how large the through hull, and stuffed them in. They cut with regular scissors and don't scrape your hands up. So we bought not only some for them, but ourselves as well. It took Dave about a half hour to do the whole boat. Plus, he did all the through hulls he'd closed, just so there wouldn't be any nests in the inch or two between the hull and the valve. We discovered a few there the previous years. So, so much easier. You can find the stainless scrubbies in most grocery stores. Just be sure to get true stainless ones or they'll rust out after the first rain. They're a little cheaper on Amazon than at the grocery store where I bought them. And everything is more expensive in South Florida. But they're not frightfully high anywhere. It took two three-packs to do our whole boat, and we had some left over. I've put a link to the Amazon on the show notes. Thank you for listening to the Boat Galley Podcast. I hope you found this episode helpful. Be sure to tell your friends about us. And don't forget to subscribe in your favorite podcast player so that you'll never miss an episode.